Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Cardano node to version 1.29.0. So here we have our instance um, that has the Cardano node running. Um, so first thing we'll do is we'll uh, stop the node. So we go sudo. Um, let's look at it first. So status. Uh, we can see here it's currently running. So what we'll do is we will uh, stop the node. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll um, go to our temp folder. It has our prereqs.sh script. And what we'll do is we will uh, run this command here, which will fetch the latest uh, version of that. So if we go here, um, so we can see here August 31st, we have our um, latest version. And then also we'll um, go ahead and run this script to make sure that all our uh, prerequisites are good to go. Um, I don't have to do this again because I already did this. So next thing we'll do is we will um, change directory to our git and then Cardano node folder, which is the repository that the um, Cardano node files are in. Now we can go git tag. And since I already ran the update, um, it has 1.27.0 as well as the newest 1.29.0, but you might not have this. So what you will do is you go git fetch dash dash tags dash dash all. So this will fetch um, all the tags. And now if you go again, git tag. Um, so if you didn't have it before, you should have it um, in the list here now. And now what you have to do is you go git check out 1.29.0, uh, we press enter, and then it should show uh, head is now at, and this is the git hash, so that's good. And then all you have to do is run uh, this command right here, which is uh, inside of the scripts folder, and it's just the cabal build all script, and that should um, recompile your binaries um, to include all the all the latest changes. And for the compiling part, um, this might take, you know, half an hour, it might take a couple hours, depending on your uh, system specs. So give it some time, let it compile. And then once that's done, um, we have to do some changes to the configuration files. So um, we'll go to our uh, home directory again, files, and then we have in here um, our our um, node config file. And then we also have to add a mainnet Alonzo Genesis JSON. I will have a link to where you can get this file um, in the description. So you can just click on that. And let me actually just show you right here. So this is the link that um, I will have in the description. And then you can see here is a uh, mainnet and testnet uh, configuration and all the other files that you need um, config. So if you click on this, you can see here, these two lines are um, the two new lines that we have to add to our config file. And if we go back, um, we also have to add this Alonzo Genesis file. This file doesn't currently exist, so we just have to add it to our um, to our node. Okay, so now if we go nano uh, config, so what you will have to do is you have to add those two lines that I uh, showed you earlier in the file. You can also just copy paste the, the whole config file, but I have some changes in here um, that I would like to keep. So if you don't wanna have to redo that, all you have to do is really add the these two lines here. Um, and then also you have to add um, the entire mainnet Alonso Genesis. So if we go nano, uh, you can go right here. It's the entire file right here. Didn't change anything, just copy pasted it. Okay, so once you have those two files, um, all you should have to do is go sudo. Um, so restart your node. And here you go, we can see it's running. So what we can do is we can um, go to our G live view. And then here we can see, checking for updates. Uh, here we can see it's starting. Uh, this might take a minute, so we'll wait for that to start. So here we're just confirming that our node is properly syncing. So all our configuration is correct and our uh, binaries are compiled correctly. Uh, once we confirm that, we are good to go to, let's say, push the binaries out to our uh, pool nodes or, or any other nodes that we have running. All right, so here we go. We can see the node is um, currently in sync, so uh, everything's looking good. 
And um, yeah, we'll have this running for a bit, uh, check the logs and make sure there's nothing weird going on. And once that's confirmed, we're good to push this out to all the other nodes um, that we have. All right, so I hope this helped you uh, update your node in case you weren't uh, quite sure how to do it. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, um, maybe like the video so that um, the YouTube algorithm uh, suggests it to other people as well. And I will see you guys next time.